Terry Lauren, a beautiful day today, kind of hot. It was still a toasty day for us. Plenty of 90s across the state. Right now, 86 in Ray, 83 in Burlington, 92 in Fort Collins, also over in Rifle, 93 in Grand Junction. Lots of 70s and 80s in the high country, and we have 89 from our weather watcher, Larry Little, in Berthet for us. In Denver today, we didn't get into the 90s, only 89, so we were just one degree shy. We've had a streak of 90 degree days, broke that today, 92 degrees here downtown. 81 is our normal, so we are still above normal, even though we didn't quite get into the 90s today. Satellite and radar is very quiet for us. Uh, just hot, sunny, and windy for the most part in Colorado. A little bit of action over in Utah, although they're very, very dry as well, so a lot of that probably not even hitting the ground. And again, you'll notice western United States, for the most part, fairly dry, except for up in the Pacific Northwest. And that's because the jet stream is riding so high right now. We have high pressure dominating, so that wet weather is not really making it our direction, although that may change later on this weekend. So we know this high pressure is keeping us on the hot side. We've been talking about it all week. It still stays strong. It still stays powerful with us all week, but that jet stream will start to shift a bit on Friday. It's a little bit closer to Colorado, and we'll also have a weak cold front make its way through. And cold front, I'm using that term because that's actually what it's called, but it's more like a cool front that will be moving through because it's not going to be that powerful. But it will knock us down a bit. It will be very windy ahead of that front on Thursday, and we will still be very breezy on Friday. So there, we should stay very, very dry on Thursday, except for the northeastern part of the state. Maybe you get clipped by some thunderstorms in Nebraska, otherwise sunshine again. And we do have red flag warnings once again for western Colorado. It's gusty, it's dry, and of course we have a ton of dry vegetation, and it's hot outside. Most areas will see that again on Thursday and possibly even again on Friday. We have a high wind warning for Moffett and Rio Blanco counties uh, through Thursday, gusts up to 60 miles an hour in northeastern Colorado. And we also have a wind advisory along I-70 from Mesa County all the way through Edwards, a gust up to 50 miles an hour. So it could be a tough drive, especially for a high prof profile vehicle drivers who have to make their way along I-70. So just be cautious tomorrow. We also have our air quality alert that we just talked about. We have a lot of alerts uh, going on right now. Air quality advisory for the Front Range. So once again, continue to be cautious outside, especially if you have any respiratory issues. Now we're in the low 60s in Denver tonight, 60 in Greeley, mid 60s out east, 40s in the high country, 40s to the 60s out west. And tomorrow, will be a scorcher. It will be the hottest day of the year so far in Denver with 96, 99 and really close to the triple digits or in the triple digits in the southeast, 80s in the high country. And for your five day forecast, there's that dip on Friday to 83 degrees. And then we are warm again by the weekend. Okay, Lauren, thank you. Coming up after dropping